Your doctor only testing total testosterone is like bragging about having a hundred grand in a bank account that's frozen by your ex-wife's divorce lawyer. Here's what most docs are hiding from you. That total testosterone number on your lab results, it's basically like monopoly money. Only one to three percent of your total testosterone is actually free and unbound and working in your body. The rest is handcuffed by a protein called SHBG or sex hormone binding globulin, tighter than a Kardashian's NDA. It's like having a garage full of cars, but your teenage son hid the keys because you took away his iPhone for 10 minutes. But here's where it gets more ridiculous than the Cleveland Browns draft strategy. The medical establishment's known for decades that free testosterone correlates to how you actually feel, not total testosterone. There's a study from all the way back in 2008 that proves that symptoms like ED, low libido, and muscle loss all correspond with free testosterone, not total. And numerous studies and meta-analyses have confirmed it over and over. Yet 90% of primary care docs and even a lot of urologists only test total testosterone because it's cheaper and just gets you out of their hair. So really, you've been systematically deceived by a healthcare system that profits off your confusion. They give you a fairly meaningless number, pat you on the head, tell you you're fine, and really couldn't care less that you have no libido, you keep gaining weight, and still feel like you got hit by a Mack truck. Meanwhile, your free testosterone, the number that actually matters, could be lower than Tom Brady's approval rating in Buffalo. Stop letting them sell you fake solutions to real problems. Demand your free testosterone, luteinizing hormone, sex hormone binding globulin, and estradiol. Or find somebody who actually understands how hormones work.